hello desserts here we are talking about black hole hawking bacon chain relation before we start um, the relation we should know about few things the schwarzschild radius where schwarzschild radius is uh, r equal r is equal to 2 gm divided c square where g is the universal gravity constant m is the mass of mass and c is the velocity of the light and another thing is the quantized energy level e equal to ac divided lambda we know that e equal to h nu nu is the frequency and ac divided lambda now e equal to ac divided lambda we know that a few physics the wavelength of the light is greater than radius of the black hole or social radius then the light will be bent by the black hole when the wavelength of the light is less than equal to the social radius then or equal to then the light will be absorbed by the black hole and we know that no light comes from the black hole now e equal to ac divided lambda okay now del time c square equal to ac divided lambda we know that del e equal to del time c square small change in variation mass equal to del time c square where we know that from special theory of relativity del time e equal to mc square now lambda equal to rs we know that then e equal to ac divided lambda lambda equal to rs then 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 lambda equal to rs then equal to rs now e equal to del time c square ac divided lambda AC divided to RS. Here, this is another relation. Rearrange this del time C divided by divided C square both sides, then delta M equal to H divided to RS over C. Okay. Okay. RS is the 2GM divided C square and differentiated that, and we have delta RS equal to 2G delta M divided C square. Now we derive earlier that the del time is h d h divided r s c okay put this del time values on that delta r s equal to 2 g divided c square h divided r s over c and rearrange that we know we get delta r s equal to 2 g h divided c square 1 by the r s and multiply r s both side then we have delta r s into del rs into delta rs multiple delta rs to g h divided c square here this term g h divided c square is the plank length square here we have plank length square plank length we know that plank length delta lp square equal to c q divided g h this is the plank length now this is the dimension of area this is the dimension of area then we have a equal to 2 g h divided c q and a equal to 2 1 by the lp square another say we derive we return that in from a plank length or g h divided c q anything now the physics here entropy is the information for one bit of information the area increase by a for entropy for s bit of information the area relation we derive that for s entropy or one, many bit of information then a equal to 2 gh divided c cube equal, equal to s here my assumption i apologize that my assumption is kb equal to 1 kb is the boltzmann's constant it is 1 now s equal to half 1 divided g h by the c cube into k or a is equal to half to l p square a now for uh, now we rearrange the unit of that multiple by k a is equal to k b to l p square into k it is the hawking bekentein relation for black hole the relation between entropy and area now the temperature how to derive by temperature we know that e equal to kbt we know that e equal to kbt this is the kb is the boltzmann constant t is the temperature is the energy now t equal to 1 divided by kb equal to hc divided rs now we know that Schwarzschild radius rs equal to 2gm divided 
c square put this value on rs then we derive t is 1 by the k 1 divided kb a c cube divided 2g 1 by the k this is the relation between mass and temperature of the black hole and this is the relation between entropy and area of the black hole okay i think that helps